Hello folks, my name is Adam Osborne, here's another cool edit tip for you. Um, this is a button I found recently and um, it's very helpful, I use it a lot now. Um, what used to happen is, um, more often than not it was with a, uh, a dry read, somebody's voice, and maybe they hesitated a bit on a syllable, or uh, maybe you've got a, uh, a beat that you want to uh, slice up, you want to delete a section of it, and when you make your edits, sometimes you get a little clip, or if you go into time pitch stretch, sometimes it gets a little warbly, and uh, that's a pain in the butt. So what I wanted to show you uh, a cool feature that Cool Edit has is called the uh, Adjust to Zero Crossings. So what we have here, just for a quick demonstration, is a, a 440 hertz uh, sine wave, uh, which zoom in, it's, it's very predictable. Um, so if we just go ahead and we just make the edit, I'm going to actually zoom in and show you when uh, you're making rough edits what happens. Uh, so let's say that I want to start my selection here and I'm going to end it right here. And we go ahead and we hit delete. And if we zoom in on that edit point, what we have there is uh, our edits didn't match up. So I started the selection at a peak and I ended at a valley and now we've got this uh, little uh, chop there so that if we play it you'll hear it'll sound absolutely uh, crappy. And you can hear that little clip right there. Um, so what uh, the adjust to zero crossings does is so let's get an approximate selection of what I want. So let's say I want to get rid of that. And what happens is when you hit this adjust to zero uh, crossings button right here, it's the one with the Z right next to your mix paste uh, button right there, what it'll do is it will automatically bring in both sides of your selection inwards until it gets to a point where the waveform crosses the red line, the zero mark. What's doubly cool about this is it also knows, it looks at both ends. So it looks at this one right here and it sees, all right, well, this is crossing the zero line going in an upward fashion, upwards. And uh, on the other side, likewise. So even if I set it uh, like this, so that uh, the next zero crossing point would be there uh, in a downward fashion, and on this one I set it so that the next crossing would be in an upward fashion, even if I hit it then, it's going to adjust it to an upward, it's going to adjust it to an upward. So it's always going to match the same on both sides, that when you make your edit, you're not even going to be able to tell. That's where we made our edit. It's seamless. Um, a little more of a practical application... Uh, what I have here is uh, a voiceover. Uh, I hope I'm not embarrassing this person, but they hesitated a bit on a syllable. A Nate certified technician. So that Nate is what we want to shrink down. Now, I could go in, I could highlight it, I could go to time pitch, I could go to stretch, and uh, I could adjust it, and I could make it half the size. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to highlight it, and then I'm going to hit this button here until I get about what I want. I'm going to get rid of that much. I'm going to hit delete, and then we're left with a Nate certified... And that was a bad example. Sometimes you get a with it. A Nate's. And I did not make a good selection here. Doesn't work always the first time. Just because it's going up doesn't mean it's going up at the same trajectory. A Nate certified. There we go. A Nate certified. Seamless. So that's uh, adjust to zero crossings. Very handy. Uh, use it.